guys welcome back yes i know i'm wearing the same outfit because i'm filming two videos today um because i haven't been consistent and i apologize but i'm getting there i'm getting there so anyway today's video is going to be about my experience as an apprentice and i just want to share you share with you guys the amazing experience the amazing time i have had and the amount of fulfillment and achievement i felt from doing this so just to give you guys a little bit of a background oh sun is trying to pop out on me and that anyway trying to give you some a bit of a bit of background i actually dropped out of college three times no i'm not saying this loud and proud i'm just giving you guys the real deal i'm just letting you guys know um so basically dropping out of college three times was what led me to doing an apprenticeship um i decided to choose an apprenticeship over university because i just felt like it fitted more into what i wanted and um i just felt like i wanted to work i wanted to gain that experience within that work area from someone that's coming out of retail i wanted that admin experience and I thought, you know, going to college and just sitting there doing business administration would just be so boring to me, to me, don't tell it personally, just boring to me. So I thought I'd want to go to do an apprenticeship, earn money at the same time, get experience and gain a qualification. Now I'm telling you, that has probably been the most amazing, the best decision I've ever made in my life because it was an, an amazing experience. Now, I applied to do recruitment, but unfortunately I actually didn't get that role. I then got a role um, at King's College Hospital, working for the NHS, um, for the volunteer service. So what I was basically doing was recruiting volunteers, um, putting them in their placements, um, you know, keeping track of their journeys, and just, just normal recruitment kind of things. And the reason I'm so grateful that I got that role instead of getting um, the HR role was that I wasn't just sitting there in the office all day. We would be out in the libraries recruiting. We would go to important meetings and really important conferences. I actually got to meet the mayor of Lambeth. I mean, there was just so many great opportunities. And I wasn't just doing one thing. Like it wasn't just an admin role. Like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It was just amazing. And because of the service that I was working for, it was just so amazing to see the people, the volunteers that just wanted to take time out of their day just to help others. And I mean, I don't know, it was just overwhelming and it was really emotional at times because you just think not a lot of people want to give their time without getting paid. So to just see people that would do that was amazing. So um, I've been able to host loads of events. I've been able to manage. I've been able to, I don't know. Basically it was just more than just an admin role. There's so many aspects to it. And I'm so glad that I went down the apprenticeship route. And um, I'm so happy to say that I've completed it, finally. Um, it has been stressful, I'm not gonna lie because Apprenticeship is not just about working and getting your qualification. There is also study days you need to attend. There is also coursework. There's also exams that you need to do. And I feel like being someone that hates all things like that, and I've been able to complete my apprenticeship, I'm just so proud of myself. Um, loads of people, like, I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna quit. <laughs> I wanted to drop out so many times because of the stress of the coursework, stress of the exams and scared I'm going to fail and have to do it again. And people have just literally stuck by me and believed in me and told me to just carry on, don't leave yet. And I've managed to finish. So you guys out there that are struggling with going to university or going on an apprenticeship. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but me personally, I'm so glad I went down the apprenticeship route. And um, for me to go from retail, to go from Primark, to go from Tesco, to go from River Island, just straight to the NHS like that, it was just like, wow, anything is possible. And it was funny because when I was actually just applying for normal admin roles, 
they were just turning me down saying I have no experience or just I was just getting turned down left right and centre and I was thinking I understand I don't have the experience but it's an admin job what else is there to it than to just answer phone calls and you know maybe type up a few things on the computer but to have got the opportunity to work for the NHS and do not just admin but have the responsibility of hosting events and managing others was just like very very overwhelming and it was such a great experience so the um training provider i went through was actually with hawk training i'll link them down below they were very helpful i mean because it was working for the nhs there was a lot i needed to go through in terms of like dbs checks and references and occupational health and corporate inductions there was loads of training but in the end it's all worth it i get I, i'm telling you apprenticeship is worth it and um i mean also you're able to like when your contract ends you never know they might keep you on and i feel like this is no offense to anybody but when you come out of university you're kind of stuck you've got your diploma you've got all your you know experiences well not experiences because this is another thing you're not exactly experienced you've just been sitting in a classroom and doing loads of exams so when you come out you've got all this brain knowledge but not the physical knowledge if that makes sense so obviously you come out you're looking you can't really find anywhere because what people are looking for now is that practical experience and you don't have that so i feel like loads of people that come out of university are gone straight back into retail and they're there for a good two three years <coughs> and they haven't managed to obviously use their diploma and use whatever skill that they learned in university and i just feel like when with an apprenticeship you have that skill so any not any but you know you have more of a leeway you have more basically you have more of a chance of getting a job because you've had that experience you've been to that workplace and then on top of that you've got your qualification so obviously what i learned um what i did was a business admin level two um am i going to do level three am i going to continue doing apprenticeship no <laughs> can't lie it was stressful guys it was stressful so I don't want to go back there but all in all it was a great experience I've been able to get my qualification and I've got just over a year's experience of you know basic admin and a bit of managing which is amazing so those of you who are out there thinking of doing an apprenticeship I'm telling you go for it because it's an amazing experience and I think it can get you places it will really get you places so yeah i want to thank you guys for watching stay tuned because more videos will be coming your way and don't forget to like and subscribe toodles <laughs>